An emotional support animal is a pet that provides therapeutic benefits to its owner through companionship. Emotional support animals are often used by people with certain mental conditions, like depression and anxiety. Additionally, they can also be used by people with physical disabilities. They are not service animals, but they often have similar duties. An emotional support animal can be any type of pet, but most commonly dogs and cats. Also turtles, turkeys, and even pigs. The important thing is that an emotional support animal provides comfort and emotional support to their owner. In this video, we'll list the top 10 best emotional support dog breeds. Emotional support animals provide their humans with therapeutic benefits, including anxiety relief and comfort in social settings, without any requisite training. While all dogs can offer support, certain breeds have traits that make them more likely to excel in the role. They tend to be gentle, laid back, and sociable. These dog breeds also typically are highly trainable and want to please their humans. What makes a good emotional support dog breed? The most important aspect to consider is the connection between the dog and the owner, says Angela Lodgson Hoover, a certified dog trainer and canine behaviorist and regional technician director with VCA Animal Hospitals. In her experience, the person's current dog is the best fit for the person who needs an emotional support animal. The dog already has a strong bond and the dog likely already naturally picks up on the owner's stress response to triggers and can offer calm, comfort, and security. If a person doesn't have a dog, the connection factor is equally important when looking for an emotional support dog. Additionally, the dog should already have good doggy manners at home, in public, and with other people and dogs. If not, you can learn together with basic obedience training. Ideally, emotional support dogs are tuned into their human and react accordingly to what their person says or does, whether that's with a celebratory dance, cuddling on the couch, or crying when they're having a tough time. Now, let's talk about the top 10 best emotional support dog breeds. At number one, we have American Staffordshire Terrier. Pit bull type dogs have been maligned for years, an unfortunate result of bad owners and bad PR. But these friendly, devoted canines are incredibly well suited to serve as emotional support animals. With the proper training and socialization, breeds like the American Staffordshire Terrier typically can get along with most people and in various situations. They have a highly affectionate and loving nature and are called Pibbles. They might seem cold, but they love cuddles and hugs. Pibble parents describe it as a perfect blend of the responsible and loving breed. They have an irritating habit of chewing. Therefore, if you don't want to spoil your furniture, make sure to stuff your home with chew toys for your Pibble's entertainment. At number two, we have Golden Retrievers. Golden Retrievers have long reigned as one of the most popular dog breeds in the United States, both as emotional support animals and general family pets. Their patient demeanors and overt friendliness make them a good fit for people with health issues. And as an added bonus, they are highly trainable. Golden Retrievers are one of the top choices and the most popular dog breed out there. They are excellent snuggle buddies due to their shining gold and incredibly soft coats. Retrievers are not just deemed the best emotional support dogs, but the prime choice for family dogs. Their friendly, well-mannered, and calm temperament makes them suitable to keep in a house with growing kids. The children also adore them. Retrievers are adequate for kids or even adults who find it hard to socialize, as they can indeed up your social skills. The Golden Retriever's number one skill set is loyalty. Their classic cuddle involves a heart-melting, heavy chin on the lap, and an upward gaze. This form of bonding and emotional support pair with unbridled enthusiasm when arriving home makes the Golden Retriever a great candidate. A routine of feeding, walking, and grooming a dog provides stability. They are excited to see you, but like all dogs, also eager to stretch their legs and get some exercise. And after you take a pleasant stroll together and a few rounds of fetch, the Golden will be content to hang out with you. At number three, we have Labrador Retrievers. Search any list of the best emotional support, therapy, or service dogs, and you'll likely see Labrador Retrievers. Labs are gentle and friendly with a strong desire to please. They're good for people who need a companion out of their homes, as Labs tend to be comfortable exploring the world. 
As one of the most popular dog breeds in the country, it's no shocker the lovable Labrador Retriever is also a top-notch emotional support dog. As temperament goes, they're happy, laid back, and nothing seems to bother them much. They are trustworthy, dependable, and always there to lick your face or your ice cream cone. This breed is super food motivated, says Nicole Ellis, a certified professional dog trainer and pet lifestyle expert with Rover. Because of this, it's easy to train them and teach them helpful tasks, such as laying beside you, resting their head on you, or providing deep pressure therapy, which is used to help reduce anxiety. It can be brought about by hugging, weighted blankets, and yes, by brushing a dog or a dog laying across your body, Ellis explains. Labradors are known to be some of the gentlest breeds around, so they make perfect emotional support animals. Another bonus of this popular dog breed is that they're highly food motivated, making them easier to train than other breeds. Labradors are great with kids too, so they're perfect to welcome into families. These dogs are the ultimate all-rounders, so they make an excellent choice for emotional support animal work. At number four, we have Corgis. After hearing about the breed Corgi, the first thing that comes to mind is that they are the Queen's dogs. Actually, the Queen of England has owned more than 30 Royal Pembroke Welsh Corgis since acquiring the Empire. Corgis are a pretty active breed. Therefore, choose them if you are ready to take care of an active dog. You might have to take them for walks, play with them, and match their energy levels to keep them entertained. Corgis are more than just the preferred breed of the Queen of England. These affectionate dogs are typically good with humans of all ages, and their intelligence makes them excel in training. But corgis are fairly active dogs, so they're not right for every condition. They can be suitable for owners who prefer to take their dogs with them when out and about, as that will help channel the corgi's energy. Corgis are happy, playful, easygoing dogs, making them a great choice for an emotional support dog. Watching a corgi play can bring entertainment and joy to anyone. Seeing them zip around with their short legs and rotund hind ends can easily bring a smile to your face. And you can have your pick of two types of corgis, the Cardigan Welsh Corgi or the Pembroke Welsh Corgi. The Cardigan is slightly larger and has a fox-like bushy tail, and the Pembroke a dot tail. They do share similar temperaments, fun-loving, playful, clever, and affectionate, with a touch of boldness. After all, they are classified as herding dogs and have a strong instinct to protect their human. If you're looking for a pup that stays small forever, read up on these adorable toy dog breeds. For number five, we have Yorkshire Terriers. What Yorkies lack in size, they make up for in confidence and affection. They expect lots of attention, but they give it back tenfold. They're easy to travel with, which is good for people who require their emotional support animal to accompany them on trips and they tend to adapt well to change. Being petite enough to hold in arms and put on a lap, Yorkshire Terriers are deemed to be the most adorable lap dogs. Well, there is no denial of the fact that they are pretty portable. Therefore, they can be the best fit for the person who wants to carry them in socially awkward situations. Most people adopt them as their emotional support animals who get anxious in social gatherings and take these cute Yorkshire Terriers to calm themselves by carrying them all the time. They are not viewed as guard dogs, but for sure, they can warn you by barking during dangerous situations. At number six, we have the Irish Wolfhound. Irish Wolfhounds are natural protectors, and their sensitive nature helps them tune into what their humans are feeling. But one factor to keep in mind is they have a relatively short lifespan, just six to eight years, which can be difficult for those who rely heavily on their emotional support animal. If you're looking for a human-sized cuddle buddy, then Irish Wolfhounds might be the best match. Due to their gigantic size and soft coat, they come out to be great cuddlers. Irish Wolfhounds belong to the most sensitive breeds in disparity to their massive and hairy physique. They sense humans' emotions without any difficulty. That's why most people nominate them as their emotional support dogs. However, before picking one, you should ensure that you have enough space in your house to pet them comfortably due to their enormous size. At number seven, we have Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Did you know that Cavalier King Charles Spaniels are considered a sporting toy breed? Now that's because their traits are a mixture 
of a spaniel and a toy. Being sweet-tempered and calm, they also have some athletic traits. They are quick learners and like to please their owners. Therefore, it is really simple to train them. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel can be your best companion for morning walks too. They are considered excellent options for being emotional support dogs. Cavaliers were initially created to be companion dogs, so their genetics run deep as warm-hearted comforters. They are undeniably cute, well-mannered, and petite in size, making them great apartment dogs. For people who want the companionship of their emotional support dog in a metropolitan area, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is a good pick for a canine friend. They love adults, children, and animals, and are irresistible to pet on a city street. They could act as an icebreaker and help socially awkward situations and reassure or console you when you're back at home. At number eight, we have Chihuahuas. Petite size and cleverness attributes describe much more about a Chihuahua. It is a surprisingly alert breed that is highly responsive to verbal and visual signals and commands. Due to the longer lifespan, it is the best partner if goodbyes are hard for you. Further, the petite size is beneficial to carry it around anywhere you like. Because of their portable quality, cheerful and easy bonding nature, getting a Chihuahua can guarantee effortless, full-time emotional support. Chihuahuas run the spectrum of temperament, but with proper socialization at an early age, Chihuahuas can develop loving personalities that translate well into emotional support. Like Yorkies, they travel easily for on-the-go companionship. They don't require much exercise, and they're happy to keep their humans engaged with playtime and snuggles. Chihuahuas are one of the most people-loving and neediest breeds. If you're after a dog that bonds closely with you, and you have plenty of time and attention to give it, then this teeny tiny breed can be a good emotional support animal choice. Chihuahuas are not particularly fond of children and sometimes even other dogs, so be aware of these traits. They can also be very noisy if left alone, preferring to be at the side of a human at all times. Chihuahuas are tiny balls of love with eyes only for their owners, which is great for those with depression. At number nine, we have German Shepherd. Indeed, German Shepherds are not lap dogs, but what makes them good pets is their playful and protective nature. They are effortless to train dogs and are highly competitive in nature too. However, Shepherds have a bad image due to their popularity as an aggressive breed. Now that comes down to their upbringing of the German Shepherds. A German Shepherd pup raised in a loving and family environment won't leave its protective and loyal traits but will absorb qualities like affection and love for its owners. German Shepherds prefer to have a job, which is why they're often chosen as working dogs. Their intelligence and eagerness to please also make them strong contenders as emotional support animals. Most German Shepherds love to engage with their humans, and with sufficient training, they can become wonderful companions in public spaces. At number 10, we have Collie. You must be aware that in 1943, an American film hit the screen named Lassie Come Home. In this movie, Lassie was a rough collie breed dog. After Lassie's debut, collies gained a lot of limelight among the American people. Collies' beautiful coats and charming personality clearly indicate that such appreciation and recognition at the time were evident. Collies are actually herding dogs. Therefore, they make sure that the family is safe and happy at all times. Due to their devoted nature, collies are great emotional support dogs and the best to bring to a family environment. As herding dogs, Collies constantly check to ensure their flock or family is happy and secure. Most Collies are skilled at picking up cues from their humans that something isn't right, and they're quick to swoop in to provide comfort. They do need ample exercise, which means they're good at getting their humans up and out of the house. So, whatever dog breed you choose as your companion, you've made a great choice to treat your mental health issues using an emotional support animal. May your emotional support animal be a source of constant support and love for many years to come. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to see our next video about the animals we love best.